Hello, in this video, we're going to calculate average fixed cost, average variable cost, average total cost, and marginal cost when given a total cost function. So a total cost function is just a uh, mathematical expression that shows you what the cost would be if you produce a certain amount of output. So you can plug in, you know, if I want to produce 10 units, you plug in a 10 there, it tells you how much it costs. If I plug in 100 units, a million units, zero units, uh, it'll kick out an answer. So to get the average fixed cost, we just need to know what the fixed cost is. So fixed costs by definition are costs that do not change based on production. So if you put in one here, you put in five here, all of these parts of the, the cost function are gonna change, but this part won't. So this is the fixed cost, right? Okay, so fixed cost is just 10. So then the, so to average that, so average fixed cost, that's just 10 divided by whatever the quantity is. Okay, and that's going to go down uh, forever. Okay, and then the variable cost part of the function is, is this part right here. Okay, so the rest of that is variable cost, so then the average variable cost would be just to average that part of the uh, function there. So that means just divide it by quantity. So we're gonna go with 10, it's 10, it's 10 Q divided by Q, but uh, you just do that faster. Um, actually, I'm realizing maybe it would be easier if you saw, if you saw me do that. Okay, so if you took this part, Take it over here. We're going to divide through by Q. Okay, so so this becomes ten minus four Q plus Q squared. Okay, and that's your average variable cost function. Okay. So let's put that there. Average variable cost. Okay, 10 minus 4q plus q squared. Okay. And then average total cost is going to be the whole thing. So you can do two, you have two options here. You could uh, divide by q, divide by q, divide by q. Or, since average total cost is the average fixed cost plus the average variable cost, and we already calculated average fixed cost and average variable cost, you can add them together. Okay, so you can just take this, tack that onto the end of that function, and that gives you your average total cost. Okay, finally, marginal cost, we're just going to take the partial derivative with respect to Q of this whole thing. Okay, so that is going to be. The 10 is just a constant, so it goes away. That makes sense, because fixed costs don't change the marginal cost. So empirically, that makes sense. Uh, then we got minus 8q uh, plus 2q squared. Okay, and that's your marginal cost. What is the output level and price with a minimum point of average variable cost for this firm? So um, on another screen, I what I did was I graphed both of these functions just to show you. Okay, and so the red line, that's our marginal cost. And then here's our average variable cost. So what this shows you is the relationship is that when marginal cost is below average variable cost, average variable cost is falling. Eventually they will equal as marginal cost starts to rise and average variable cost will then be pulled up once marginal cost is higher. Okay, so that's the relationship. You can always graph any of these and it'll show you the right answer. You can see if you're doing it right. So 
we just want whenever you get this kind of question you want to set marginal cost equal to average variable cost okay. so we know those numbers so all we have to do is just set up the, the two functions so let's do the marginal cost on the left side 8q plus 2q squared Hey, hey, I'm realizing that there's a mistake in my function here as I paused the video. So let's fix that mistake. It's always important to fix mistakes. Um, that part of the marginal cost function, that's 3q squared equals, and I'll go back and fix that. So if some of you caught that, uh, good job. So then I got uh, minus 4q plus q squared. Okay, so let's fix fix that part right there. This is gonna be three. Could have remade the whole video, but you know, I think it's important to show somebody when you when you made a mistake how to fix it. Okay, so the tens are just gonna go away. And I'll bring the fours over there. So that would mean I got negative four. Q equals negative two Q squared. And we'll divide everything through by negative Q. So that leaves us with four equals two Q. I'm about to run out of space here. Q uh, equals two. So the quantity two is where this happens. So that's the, the quantity part. The output level means the same thing. And then you can just take that quantity of two and plug it into either function here. So we just want to know what's the average variable cost when uh, quantity is two. So we're going to go 10 minus four to two units plus Two squared. Okay, and so that turns into four. That turns into eight. Um, and then I'm gonna. So that's negative four minus that is six. Okay, you can do get that answer with either one, uh, and that is consistent with what we saw on the graph as well. So that's how to do all of that. Little bonus multiple choice question here. Order for a taxi cab operating in New York City must have medallion on its hood. Medallions are expensive but can be resold and therefore are an example of a fixed cost. Okay, So um, it's not a sunk cost. Sunk cost can't be recovered. So that's the difference there. It doesn't matter how much the taxi driver drives. Uh, that medallion is, is going to be a fixed cost.